Hi everyone, thank you ever so much for tuning back in again. We've got another set of questions to answer for you this time. Uh, we have the first one coming up right now. Thank you ever so much again for tuning in. For sake. Thank you ever so much again for tuning in this week. My name is Craig from Staffordshire Car Care here in our detailing studio in Rugeley, Staffordshire. This week so far, Porsche Taycan has had full front end PPF and full ceramic coats all the way through. Volkswagen Golf GTI has had a single stage machine polish, multiple ceramic coatings on the paint wheels, glass interior, everything you name it. This week we want to know why Greg has a ruler. And he's a ruler. What are you measuring? Measuring the <laughs> One of the first questions we've got is what would you use on an interior of a car? So if the interior is clean and it just needs a little bit of a wipe around, gathering that dust, just remove it off the dashboard or your screens, interior detailer is perfect. At the same time, it's gonna kill bacteria and leave a residue free finish. We have also another option, leather cleaner. The leather cleaner comes in two strengths, strong and mild. The strong version, obviously, for those interiors that are highly soiled, and mild for more of a gentle clean. Another option you have for your interior is fabric cleaner. Fabric cleaner is obviously for cleaning fabric. You can use it in the machine as an extraction if you wanted to, or you can spray it directly onto the seats or fabric, mats, you name it. Agitate it with a brush and then brisk it over with a hoover straight after. Thank you again. Another question has been asked. Is there a particular way you would apply a ceramic coating? So we'll assume this question applies to the paint, um, but you can use the same applications maybe for wheels and trim also. So what Gion used to supply to us was a, a block, a foam block with a more of a gentle foam slither between the suede applicator. We used to wrap this around and we would gently obviously apply to the surface in a cross hatch if you wanted to or just cover a certain segment of, of paint, wait for a few seconds and you would buff it straight off. Applicators that have two sides, a suede side and a microfiber side in two sizes, a large and a small. Personal preference whether you want to use either side is totally up to the operator or the person installing the coating but those now are a better option for us over the traditional suede over the block option. So it's perfect for what we need. We would apply a generous amount of coating onto the applicator, apply to the surface area and buff off straight away and repeat then through the rest of the car. Another question we had through our Instagram was when will you clean my car because it is minging? Is the answer to that is do it yourself. Okay, so first of all, how to clean the Alcantara, which is this section just here. As you can see, we've got some um, build up of dirt and some marks on the Alcantara here. It has a slight little glisten to it, and that's just because of the, the oils from your skin have built up, uh, maybe aftershave or moisturizers, various different things. So first of all, I have a microfiber towel that I've run under the tap and I've wrung it out, and it's just damp. So then we're gonna take Gion's fabric cleaner and I'm just going to spritz that onto the microfiber towel just loading it up a little bit and all we need to do is work it into the Alcantara with quite some pressure and it will probably would be best once you've wiped a certain section is then to flip the towel over onto a new section maybe reapply a little bit of fabric cleaner again and just repeat, getting into the embroidery. And I am rubbing relatively hard and then repeat that both sides. Okay, so once that's done, you simply take a fresh towel. You can run that under the tap again if you want to, just so it's nice and damp, and then just rub the section again. That's just gonna try and pull any remaining remnants of any product out. So last of all, you're gonna take a dry microfiber towel and then just keep rubbing the fibers until they become nice and fluffy again. And then leave that to dry. And then that will give you a nice fresh Alcantara steel well.
Don't forget to leave your questions in the comments below and we'll answer them on our next video. Thank you ever so much for watching once again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on that bell icon to be notified when our next video is uploaded. Thank you very much and we'll see you again soon.